Alex, you hit the red button. Eight. All right, and then Eight. I'll click start Eight. here. That's it's okay. <laughs> oh, is she supposed to, to do, do that? Do 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 do. She's doing it for fun. No. <laughs> Credit for this class? Yes. All right. So, what's up, y'all? Welcome <laughs> to the Sports Medicine Broadcast. This is episode 54, What Happens When You Don't Have a Backup Plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what really, what happened, um, we had a guest scheduled, and... Some some person didn't communicate with another person, and, and it was a, a doctor, so they usually have somebody running their schedules. Uh, well, that person didn't communicate with them, or, or somehow or another. So anyways, I sent the stuff to them. We, we set it up last year, and then uh, anyways, it didn't get didn't all get communicated and scheduled. So we're going to have to go with our backup plan, which is there isn't one. So we're still going to be kind of hanging out, talking uh, about some of the stuff that we're doing here in sports medicine and some of the things y'all are learning, some of the things y'all want to learn about. So maybe it can just benefit us in the class. And then if there's anybody that wants to Skype in, it's PHS trainers. So Laura would be able to, if you see anything on there, this like a call that comes in on Skype, Laura, then we could talk to them there. Yeah, so Ali, you're on this camera But they camera can't there. see me. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't even know. So can you see us? This yeah. I guess this is yeah. another uh, practice oh, yeah. or trial run. So hopefully we have it all working by the time next week when we have uh, a registered dietitian coming, and then we'll get back to talking with Dr. Joe, the dermatologist. So again, you know, stuff happens. I understand mistakes. We we do stuff like that. Uh, so neither here nor there. Who's got something? Oh, I got a question. All right, what's your question? Okay, today. I thought I was going to die. Okay. All right. Let me tell you what happened. Go ahead. <laughs> so I woke up feeling perfectly fine. <clears throat> and then I went to Jack to get coffee. Well, that's where you went wrong right there, Jack in the Box. Exactly. Oh. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. With your I got, yeah, um, up. I got, um, I got a cold coffee though, like iced coffee. Oh my gosh. Yum. And then, um, like I was feeling fine, like in first period and then I went to second period and then like, I feel like I was going to faint and like throw up and then die and then come back <laughs> to life and then do it again. <laughs> and then I do went to third. Do you normally drink coffee? No, like not like no. When was the last time you drank coffee? Oh, back in the day, like back in the day, this <laughs> girl. <laughs> it, it was a long time ago. Like a year ago, two years ago. Nah, I'm gonna say like some months since I, I never had cold coffee either. So that was like the first time. Well, you're that's why. I mm -hmm. mean, yeah. is that the only thing you had for breakfast? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, maybe it's because I didn't eat nothing. And then the teacher gives me like a, one drop of granola. Like that was just going to make drop. me so. I know. Did she have to give you anything? She was Ooh. asking for money. I was like, The teacher? Uh, yeah. I was oh. like, I don't have no money to, to give make you. a business over here. But she seen <laughs> me, she seen me like about to like, you know. Die. Die. So, so <laughs> like, that's a very interesting question. My wife, wife actually, she drinks coffee. I, I think I said it before. I hate coffee. Yeah, like, me too. Ah! If, what the heck? <laughs> if, if, uh, if she best. drinks coffee, I like I have trouble kissing her because oh, like, oh, I, yeah. I remember you saying yeah, that. You and so, that. so she was actually talking about if she drinks coffee without having something to eat, you know, within you know an hour or so, something like that, uh, that she starts to get lightheaded and dizzy and stuff like that because of the caffeine. And so the caffeine on an empty stomach really affects her. And so if that's all you had was coffee this morning that's mm -hmm. true. and you don't regularly drink coffee, then like people who regularly drink they coffee, like irritate they're, your stomach. they're used to the caffeine and the, that thing like that. And so if you don't regularly, then it's kind of like a shock to your system. And then the fact that you didn't have any food to help, um, go absorb with it. it, to go with it, to, to dilute the coffee, because that dilute. way the, the caffeine and the coffee is the only thing being absorbed. That's probably oh. why you felt. I still feel that way, but you know. Dying. All right. Well, you don't have uh, any arms on your chair, so don't fall over sideways. Uh -oh. You pass out. Well, I'm gonna fall forward. Well, don't do that. Then you mess the mic up. Okay. Well, it's just, just fall over on George or Jackie. I'm be like. <laughs> All right. So, so. I have another question. Yeah, one, <laughs> one second. Brianna and then Edith. Hopefully, you're listening. So, 
go ahead and peek your head around the corner when you get a chance and tell us how it sounds because they're listening on the live stream. We have a streaming on our website, sportsmedicinebroadcast.com. <coughs> There's probably nobody listening live except for maybe my wife. Lorena, does it? can you see on there? Does it say uh, live viewers anywhere? Anyways, why she's looking for that. Um, so there's probably nobody listening live, and if you are, then I apologize sincerely for the fact that our guest mm. isn't on, and then that we're just winging it. So feel free to chime that in. Empty if you're, chair. Ooh, we if got two viewers. Two Ooh. viewers. Ooh. That is so amazing. I think one of them is her, and one is my wife. Ah, uh, she's one of our viewers on Mac. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Hello, like wife right of here. Jackson. Yeah. Right here. How are you it's doing right today? Wait, what's the what's the page thing? Like, I can watch live. Put it all over Twitter. Like, you what? How do they watch this live on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, uh, they can watch it live on YouTube on sportsmedicinebroadcast.com, and then it says live, so they click on there. Do you have it on your Twitter? Uh, do I have it on my Twitter, George? Like the link on <laughs> it. It should it. it should be. Lorena, if you type something in the comment section, so if you slide the Ustream over to the left, you can see the comment section. It should it should tweet out the, the link for it there. It's it's sportsmedicine.com. If you copy that URL and paste it. Mm. Alright, no. so oh. Jackson. <laughs> so is it sportsmedicinelive.com or no, sportsmedicinebroadcast.com slash live. Where? Sportsmedicinebroadcast.com slash live. Sportsmedicine.com. Smorts, sports medicine broadcast. Sports. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Who, who's Sarah? Sportsmedicinebroadcast.com. Who is Sarah Jacks O2? Slash live. Yeah. Yeah, that's my wife. Hello, wife of Jackson. <laughs> Once again. Thanks, babe. Aww. Aww. <laughs> oh, she said comment. No, oh, she said. <laughs> All right, so she's so cute. She be watching your broadcast. She's if, probably if blushing. If you guys want to log into todaysmeet.com slash sports medicine broadcast, you can type in over here, and you and Michelle can be typing conversations and whatnot. So we can at least make sure it's working. Keep Michelle can I talk awake. To your wife? So yes, you can. She should Skype us. Tweet. So if she has a comment <laughs> on there, if she's saying something about an athletic injury or you know, how my, said you're welcome, how my babe. kids try to have concussions <laughs> daily. Um, then you can, <laughs> Alex, are you listening? So uh, since Lode doesn't have a mic, if she says something on there, Lode, you, know, you would tell her or show her and then she can make that comment. So just say, just pretend my wife says, uh, I think Jonah has a concussion. Then, then Lode, you could show that to her and then Alex would say, yeah. And then, uh, Sarah Jacks from the Ustream chat room says, I think, uh, your son has a concussion or something like that. I would start freaking out. Something along those lines. What? So. My baby. Crazy. Oh, my baby. I would cry. Uh, All right, so Aisha, you had another question. Yes. No. Um, Is it true that drinking a lot of coffee makes you short? I don't think so. <laughs> well, then I need to drink a lot yeah, of coffee then, too. man. Because they were saying that if you drink a lot of coffee, it makes you short. Yeah, I heard. I have heard people yeah. say that before. Um, I would. The main deciding factor in how tall you are is your genetics. Huh? huh. Like nutrition. <laughs> nutrition plays a small, small part, but the main deciding factor. If if everybody in your family is four foot tall, you're not going to be six foot tall. But everybody in my family is like four or five. Feet yeah, my I'm family's like, like really short. Like five two. You're 5'2". Five, 5'2", two. Five, two, and they're like 4'12", 5'? Yeah. 4'12", is 5 foot. Yeah, so, <laughs> so but, but then look at, what about your grandma on both sides? She's or your like, grandpa on both sides? She's like up to here to me. She's like so, so, so yeah. but they're within like yeah. 3 she inches, right? She drinks a lot right? of coffee, then. I so five, than my grandma. 5'2", five and 5'2", five, there's really not much difference. How come? So, no, she is. Like right here to my neck, and then my mom, well, she's kind of shorter. Yeah, get closer to the mic, Kelly. My mom, she's like my size, but a little bit taller. Are they watching film? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have to turn all the lights on in just a second. So.
continue <laughs> continue with your questions or stories. Um. Uh. Ah, oh, I had a question. What's your question, sweetheart? Oh. I'll answer it. No. <laughs> Okay. Um, What's the question? How come, uh, like, when you get old, you shrink? <laughs> oh, that's because old age kick in, and then yeah, I, is it over. because it's like, like they start the they start like loud like like my grandpa? Over? Yeah, I like, think so. Your spine? Well, well maybe I don't know, cause you know how some like some old people they're like really tall. My grandpa's like really tall, like he's like six something, and he ain't got no shorter since I've been on Earth. Okay, Jackson, mm -hmm. I have a question. <laughs> All right. Okay, how come when you uh, when you get older you shrink like some old people shrink? Uh, the, all the details I don't have, but but you know there, there's cartilage and padding between your bones. Well, in your bone in your spine there's about 27 bones I think. I think that's right, about 27 bones in your spine, and so the padding in between each of those reduces. So if it was an inch, <laughs> it, are you listening? Yes. If it was an inch, then as you get older, it gets compressed and compressed, and so then it's maybe a half an inch. And so if you have 27 different <laughs> pat places where there's padding and you're losing half an inch, then, you know, you're going to lose a couple inches. Uh, and also, a lot of times, they lose flexibility, and so they tend to, to lean over a little bit more rather than standing yeah. up straight. And so right. when you stand up straight, you appear taller. But if you can't stand up straight because your muscles are tight, then you are shorter because... That's as far as you can stand up. What are y'all yeah. giggling about? Somebody? All right. A user, the user, Sarah. Jack? Or you could just say my oh, wife. Oh, your you wife want. says that I think Jonah has a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how funny. <laughs> That's why I couldn't, like, stop laughing. So she's listening and she's just commenting. So she's helping improve our show. Yay. So I don't think, hopefully <laughs> Jonah doesn't really have a concussion. I don't think she would put a smiley face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Otherwise, she'd be bringing her, bringing him up here to see me. So, <laughs> all right. So, uh, one advantage to having all this equipment in here is I've showed you all the picture of my son's fire truck bed, right? Yeah. All right. So all the time when we're in, they when we're at home, he's <laughs> daddy. You want to go play with my fire truck bed? And so, well, <laughs> he's always like, are there any missions? Are there any missions for us? So you know, we have to rescue kitties out of trees because that's what Handy Manny does, or we have to you Aww. know save save the women out of the the burning buildings, uh, just because that's what firemen do is they put out the fires. And so what I'm actually working on is I've got some fire truck sound effects and I'm recording a little oh. little something so that he'll have a CD so that he can play. Um, and it'll be like, Jonah Bear, there's some missions and here, here's what we got to do. So it's, it's kind of fun. It's something I'm working on and I'm going to get some of you guys to help me at some point. You can be the extra voices, the dispatcher or the whoa, ambulance whoa, driver or something. Whoa. I didn't say the siren. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the dispatcher. Yeah, 49, so. 49, code 49. Except for it's Jonah Fire Truck. We gotta, we gotta get Aww, Jonah Fire Truck. Jonah Fire Truck. Yeah. Alright, so do you have a question, Alex? Uh, oh, I need to use the restroom. <laughs> Why did that have to be put on here? That's why I was trying to raise my hand. <laughs> so <it> <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, you gotta wait till the broadcast is over. Oh, okay. You're my co host. So if I don't have anything to say, then that's where you gotta step in. It's your job. <gasps> I feel important. You are. I feel like I have a question, but uh, I feel like if I have a question, I don't. It hasn't came to me yet. So. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> far, we have in sports medicine, we have really only hit up first aid CPR, um, and we're gonna work some more on splinting in the next week, so you guys will learn how to splint. Uh, those of you that are my student athletic trainers. We have the scavenger hunt where you'll pick up the paper today. So that's about half of you, half you guys. So you need to stay right after school for about 10 minutes hey. to pick up the paper and get your instructions. Is it now hard? It's extremely hard. There's oh, no way you'll be able to complete serious? it. It's impossible no, to it's just complete. fun. It's oh. just fun. I was supposed to say, well, <laughs> well we gotta kidding. do it. We gotta mm -hmm. finish it. I heard we have to dance like a chicken in, uh, in the um, cafeteria in front of everybody. Really? While they record it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy that. I volunteer. You never know. We change yeah. stuff up every year. So we we got the scavenger student trainer I'm scavenger. Scared. I can post the link after tomorrow. But if you want to check it out, go to um, our website. It's Pasadena that Pasadena org slash athletic trainers. And then on the home page there, there will be a slideshow. 
Uh, I'm going to plan on putting it up today, but there won't be any pictures taken until tomorrow. So it'll be a slideshow of all the activity that's going on tomorrow while they're doing their scavenger hunt and um, doing silly, crazy things. And there is, there will be a couple of videos, but you won't be able to see them on there since the website is a photo sharing site. So there can be videos of people singing or dancing or, or doing ankle rehab or taping or splinting somebody or I don't know, whatever else we put on the, on the uh, scavenger hunt this year. So We have four viewers. Do something funny. <gasps> that works nice. Does anybody else here? Uh, oh, I posted on Facebook that you should watch us yeah. live and then I'll I put, put the link. Oh. Right, awesome. Alright, so now we got some more viewers. George's not even screaming. Oh, I have a question. Live stream. Yup. Got it. All right, who's got a question? Aisha. All right, go for it. Okay. So, um, besides me dying earlier today, I was when I was going to um. Okay, Good right. thing we know CPR, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was going to third period, I was walking with Kaylin, and like I told her, I was like, I'm gonna faint, and like I was holding on to her, and she's like, Well, I know what to do. And I was like, <laughs> and she said, like, we won't do nothing because, you know, you faint and then you come back. And I was like, well, what if I don't get up? What if I don't get up? Like, Th That's your what? question? Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Well, you were, like, in the middle of telling a story yeah. and then just <laughs> expecting well, me to answer. All right, yeah, so, if I don't get up? so if you were to pass out, if you were to say, hey, I'm about to pass out, and then you just pass out, then I'm not worried about a uh, sudden cardiac arrest. I'm just worried about you feeling lightheaded. So then I would... If you were walking, if if I was Kaylin in that situation, you were walking beside me and you grabbed onto my arm and said, "Hey, I think I'm about to pass out." So then I would probably say, "All right, well let's let's stop. Let's find you a seat." And so sometimes yeah. just finding you a seat might be able to give you enough of a break to to not pass out. But sometimes that's due to blood pressure or anxiety. Oh, or, uh, looking at me. <laughs> or other things like that. So in that case, if you were to be holding on to my arm and pass out, so then I would try to catch you, lower you to the ground gently, and then care from you from there, just like we would any other unconscious person. Um, <laughs> check for obvious signs of life. Call somebody for help. In this case, I wouldn't call 911 because I knew why you I knew you had just passed out right there. Yeah. So then I'd call somebody for help um, and then stay with you there until... We woke up. If you were passed out for a little while, then we'd call the ambulance. But if there's something quick and we could revive you, then okay. we would do that. Have you ever fainted when you saw a lot of blood? Um, Ooh. The only I time I've ever fainted, there's like three or four times I fainted. But the only time that I've ever fainted was whenever I was giving blood. Like, I can't donate blood because I just pass out. <laughs> like when they take blood for for the medical tests. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll start feeling right? lightheaded. Yeah. I'll feel lightheaded. And yeah. I'll like, Ugh. like you, and you do you pass out? Yeah, like a little bit. Like I'll like I feel like I'm going to, and then I like start blacking out, and then I just like whoa. Well, when I was in high school, I was helping with the blood drive because I was in the uh, health science technology class, and so I was supposed to give blood and then go eat lunch. So I'd been there all morning and working and handing out passes and doing all that kind of stuff. So. I go sit down in the chair, and she's taking my blood pressure, and she's like, oh, well, you're not going to be able to give blood. I was like, why not? She's like, because your blood pressure too. I was like, oh. Oh, oh my god. So then I, I remember I was, un like, I couldn't do anything, but then she's like, the lady was slapping me in the face. <laughs> she was, and then they, they lowered me to the ground, and then I think they had the ammonia inhalant. And so, yeah, I think she was, like, not, like, they, not like a movie slap, but... <laughs> But it was just like, you know, hit me pretty hard in the face, and but I just couldn't do anything. I was just, boom. So they laid me on the ground, and then after that, they got me up, put me in the wheelchair, and they took me to the room and gave me uh, the cookies and and juice, even though I didn't give blood. I'm fine. So I kind of kind of got a freebie, but... Wait, why do they give cookies? Every time. It's oh, yeah. <laughs> it's to replace the, the glucose or the sugars in your blood. Oh. And so... Remember your sugar? Every time I go and, like, they take out blood because I'm anemic and, like, they'll go, like, take out blood for take me that. and, like, I'll feel, like, lightheaded and I'll feel weird when they're taking it out and then after I just feel, like, so weak. I'm scared. Those things, the needles scare me. Nah, I'm a thug. I just, like, can you, like, explain <laughs> anemic? Anemic means low iron. But yeah. That? It's like, you ain't got no iron. Like, you need to start eating, like, meats and stuff. Uh, yes, or other things. Uh, a, 
Things have iron. Yeah, things that grow in the ground, roots it. type thing. So they, those usually have iron, like broccoli has a lot of iron. Somebody um, told me to eat a can. A can? <laughs> oh. Yeah, and I was like, okay. That's just okay, smart. so <laughs> that's an excellent point of evaluating the source of your information. Like Wikipedia is not a solid reference. I mean, you know, it, for <laughs> for general knowledge, but for very accurate facts, that's not the best place. So maybe somewhere like WebMD is going to be a lot better. But eating a can is probably never beneficial. Wow. It's going to tear what up the? your mouth. <laughs> it's going to tear up your intestines. Why would you do that? You're going to lose more blood. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah, they want all sorts of internal bleeding. So unless you just want to be a a test dummy or a project for us to learn, then yes, <laughs> don't need a can. So if you want to be, if you want to just let us experiment on your body in she the will. anatomy lab next next week, next year, then don't need a can. Gotcha. If you're going to eat a can full of broccoli, well, just don't eat the can. Just eat the broccoli or, okay. or spinach. I like broccoli and spinach and green beans. Oh, broccoli and, and cheese tomatoes. Beef. Oh, my gosh. And oh tomatoes. My gosh. I love so tomatoes. Good. I love uh, Jason's Deli's cheese and broccoli soup. Oh, my gosh. That is so good. That's just funny. All right. So anybody in here make salsa? Me, me, me. Raise your me. hand. Let me see. Over here. All right. So that's about half of you. All right. So one of the things we did last year and hopefully we can do it again this year. Uh, next week we're talking, should be talking, hopefully, <laughs> talking with the registered dietitian um, from oh, Memorial Hermann. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> so uh, we should be talking with the registered di dietitian, but one of the things hopefully we can talk about is some of the ways that we can add in um, healthy foods to what we're already eating. I think, uh, was, I talking to, was I talking to you yesterday, Alex, about carrots? Somebody at practice was saying they don't like carrots. I hate carrots. Oh, I like, so I like carrots. Oh my gosh, I love carrots. You don't like carrots? No. No, I think it was, <laughs> I think it was I Alexis. Yeah, the other, I think it was Lexi. So one of the things we did in class was actually people made homemade salsas, but we had ingredients that you had to include. So one of the things was pureed carrots. You had to put pureed carrots in there. Well, when it's in salsa, you don't notice. So when you have tomatoes and pureed carrots, you have onions and garlic, those things have a lot of nutrients within them, and then you're, just, you're eating salsa. And so we actually took salsa that somebody made and put it on a pizza instead of the tomato paste. And so then you had a was little bit good? extra flavor. It was good. Everybody liked it. And it was actually a special kind of pizza, too. It wasn't bread. It was... Um, Tortilla? No, it was cauliflower. You know what cauliflower is? What the? Ew, so you I take the cauliflower, cauliflower, and then you like it. mash it up. And then it, you spread it out, and it's it makes the crust for the pizza. Oh you my guys? gosh, I oh, want we some of that right that. now. We have to. And so we must. let's do it like tomorrow. Maybe in a few weeks. We'll, what we did last year was on Fridays. <gasps> let's do it on Friday. We did what, what we called Superfood Fridays. <gasps> and so oh the only gosh. problem is we did good, and we had some fruit smoothies and stuff like that. But then people stopped bringing in their stuff. So if if we have participation, then we'll start that up again soon. You got me. Let's do the fruit ice thingy. I'm about to think you did. The smoothie? No. I want ice. the cauliflower. Oh, the fruit water? Th there you go. Fruit water. Yeah, the fruit ice. water. Yeah, well, yeah, I know you're talking about we froze the fruit and used it as the ice cubes. and. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you're right. You're right. We you're should do that. So fruit water would be a good option. Uh, I love the salsa. I mean, usually you eat them on salty chips, which isn't the best for you, but... Uh, you know, it works, especially if you put the salsa on other things. Like, you can use it as a dressing for your salad. So, that's always good. That's always fun. Okay. Ho hopefully, we can get that get that going again. But once we get a little bit into the further into the year, we'll start can that. Can make, like, a fruit thing? Like, a bunch of fruit together? A fruit salad? Yeah. But can we make one? Yeah. So, maybe on one of the weeks. So, what we did was each... Each week we did this, we had a theme. So everybody bring fruit, and we're going to do superfood yes. smoothies. Or everybody bring salsa. Or, you know, you bring salsa, and you bring chips. You bring salsa, you bring chips. You should do um, chicken alfredo. Oh, Lord. Or, Ooh. like, everybody brought ingredients, and then me and my wife <laughs> made the pizza. And so then I just brought that up. Uh, and so that kind of thing. So we'll, we'll decide what we're going to bring. And so one of the <laughs> things I'm actually going to try and bring is a special kind of brownie that <gasps> when you guys taste it, you won't. You won't, won't really know what's in there, oh. but we'll see what you think about it. And, uh, there's something sitting in my fridge right now. Anybody like pumpkin pie? 
Hey. Yeah, well, you're not getting any. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm so job. happy I don't like pumpkin. Me either. I don't like pumpkin. It's, at least not from this one, because I'm going to eat it. But pumpkin, because of the orange color, and, and if you're eating real pumpkin pie, not like just a whole bunch of sugar with pumpkin flavoring or something, then it's one of those things that's really good for you, like carrots or... Um, so I don't know, some of the other orange things I can't think of right now. But hopefully, maybe right around Thanksgiving, mm. that would be great if everybody made some pumpkin pie or something along those lines, some something healthy. What about Halloween next month? That's not a healthy month. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because well, it's we like a whole bunch of candy. candy. But after we talk to Brett next week, hopefully we can, or Mr. Singer, I'm not sure what he's going to want to be called. Um, but hopefully we can get some ideas. And if not, then we can revisit the podcast where we talked to Dr. Judy Sandlin. And so that was actually the whole episode was superfoods. And so we can look at the show notes there and see what she talked about. So that was fun. It was exciting. I get to, get to eat in here and then go to lunch and either eat or not eat. But <laughs> yeah, um, I, love, I love food. I love food too. So we'll work on communicating that. So one of the things I want to do with this is after we do a couple episodes here, I would like to for you guys to think of somebody you would like to talk to, um, like the dermatologist, that's because somebody was interested in doing that, or the registered dietitian because people are interested in doing that. And so if there's somebody that, you know, you want to be a pediatrician, well, then let's find one. Let's see if we can get them in here, and then we can talk about them. You know, we can talk about what it takes to get to do their job, some of the good things, some of the bad things that you might not have thought of. And, or if you want to be a neurosurgeon, then maybe we need to try and talk to a neurosurgeon. Again, uh, we'll try and start that in a few weeks so you see how this goes and then the second semester is when we'll be able to start bringing those people in so anybody have any idea of something somebody you'd like to talk to what just are they the called um, that um, that um, deliver the babies what are those doctors uh, called OB, oh, yeah. OBGYN yeah, bring, them. Gynecologist. Mm, bring them over here yeah that'd be interesting or a veterinarian <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do what? Hematologist? <coughs> what is that? <laughs> you know what it is, George? Did you say hematologist? He it's H E M A hematologist. Oh, what is that? Isn't that like blood or something? Mm, exactly. H E M A means blood. Yeah. I learned that. Ologist means one who studies. Who studies blood. Good job. <laughs> yeah, good job, biology teacher, wherever you are. And Mr. Garcia. Oh, what? <laughs> All right. Good job, Ooh, Coach Garcia. Turn <laughs> All right, so there's a couple ideas. So we'll have to we'll get those. We'll put them in writing. We'll start figuring out who we can talk to. Again, I've got friends at Methodist. i got Memorial Herman at uh, oh, Patients Hospital there. in St. Luke's and all sorts of different people to contact. And we don't have to talk with them in person. If they can't come, we can talk with them on Skype. So in a couple of weeks, we have somebody, one or two people on Skype um, <laughs> coming up. So. So there's lots of different options, but what else you got? Today's Wednesday, we get out of here at 10.08, so we got, I don't know, 10, 15. Sarah, if you have any other comments, anything you'd like us to talk about, you can go ahead and comment on there. She's still listening, still have four viewers. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Lorena, you got to go around that room so she can see all the different people. Make sure you get, of course, you got to get a good shot of me because I'm definitely the best looking one here. Ha ha ha. Excuse me. Apparently, they have to okay. see me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else we got? My stomach hurts. Hello, waving at the camera. <coughs> All right, so here's one question we I typically ask when we get started. I'm going to. I'll start with you, Michelle, so be ready to answer. For breakfast, what did you eat for breakfast? All right, so I'm gonna, we'll probably ask this question every week because it's important. And next week, the topic of the conversation is breakfast with Brett. So he's a registered dietitian. He's gonna be talking about breakfast, why it's important. And then we'll go over those questions on Tuesday so you guys will be ready. But for this morning for breakfast, I had chocolate milk and a breakfast sandwich, had like a croissant, egg, cheese, and sausage. Did I say sausage? It, so mm, I, that's, that's what I had for good. breakfast this morning. There is says hi. Hi, baby. Ooh. All right. <laughs> hi, baby. All right, so Sarah, same you. question Same question for you. What did you eat for breakfast this morning? And then 
We'll get Alex to read it whenever you say it. Michelle, start us off. Breakfast. For breakfast this morning, I had donuts and milk. Donuts and milk. All right. Not the most healthy, but you did eat something. What kind of milk? 1%. 1%. All right. Nice, <laughs> healthy option. Marlon? I didn't have breakfast. Oh, that's all right. We're going to work on that. We're going to show you some, some stuff next week about why <laughs> it's so important. Salima? Salima? You got to be paying attention. You got to be with us. All right, we're going to come back to you. What did you eat for breakfast this morning? Um, Laura, what did you eat? Granola bar and milk. All right, so sh they don't have a mic over there, so what kind of granola bar? <laughs> <laughs> they said it was healthy. Oh, okay. The TV said it was healthy. It's got to be right. <laughs> all right. That's good. That's good. It's not a b that's not bad at all. Lorena, you can lean over there and talk on Alex's. Um, I ate nothing. Nothing. All right. doesn't start you off good. Y'all ever seen the uh, commercials? I think it's the Frosted Shredded Mini Wheats. Where he's talking about how a healthy <laughs> breakfast gives you a kickstart and starts you off good, makes you smarter, that kind of thing. You got to make sure you eat breakfast. Oh, saliva. <laughs> had nothing. <laughs> nothing. She's no saliva. tomatoes. No, no broccoli. my stomach is killing me right now. So then so what funny. happens is you end up going to the vending machine and buying potato <laughs> chips. That's me. Yes. Every day before I get to the class. So that's why you got to eat that breakfast. Edith? Sarah replied. She said two pieces of toast with strawberry jam, apple juice, and a coffee. Oh, oh my God. Lord. Apple juice this girl and lucky. the coffee. <laughs> that sounds Man, so good right now. It really my does. stomach just growled. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ali. Donuts. Donuts? What kind of donuts? Chippy. I know, just plain glazed donuts, yeah. like pinks with sprinkles. Mm -hmm. No. <coughs> Chocolate. Chocolate donuts? Mmm. <laughs> this girl can Wait, eat. milk? Anything <coughs> Anything to drink? A Coke. A Coke? A Coke? Coke chocolate. And uh, what's it called? What, what are they called? What I gave you? What? No, what I gave you. What are they called? It's some chocolate covered, like two cookies covered in chocolate, and then, like, in the middle has some white marshmallow. Um, okay. Like, I ate three of those. Moon pies, oh I think. Something like that. Um, I ate a taco with uh, a potato and egg. A taco potato, and egg, taco. some orange juice. Good. That was a, that was taco a good con huevo y party papas. breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jackie. Nothing. Nothing? All right, we're going to work on that. Nothing. Remember, I'm going to be asking you guys this next week, so we got to work on that. Aisha? Cold coffee. <laughs> That's right. That's why she almost died. Yeah. And I almost died. Next time you'll get that 99 cent jumbo jack breakfast sandwich oh. instead Ooh, of that. Ooh, that sounds good. Right Pop it. Now. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. No, next time I'm gonna get the extreme sausage. 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 <laughs> sausage. It's sausage. so good. Oh my gosh. It's so good. I might go get that right oh, now. Ooh. All right, George. <gasps> After school. Um, I had a taco with eggs and frijoles. Oh. And the Coke. Not bad. Not bad. You make it at home? Was it from home or did you go to the store? Yeah. At home? Got to be homemade. Yeah, nice. mine was at home too. Good, good. <laughs> Next time you just got to remember to sneak one in your backpack and drop it off here in the morning, all right? Mm -hmm. Got it? Nah, take it to Asia. My mom, my mom made, made it. Oh. My mom usually makes me like a scrambled egg and then she puts a bacon and a smiley face and with tomatoes, like baby tomatoes, like around Aww. the bacon. Aww, or she'll so make cute. me like two pancakes and like tomatoes on the side. Like baby ones. Usually? Yeah, like every day. Oh, not today then. Because I was running late. Oh. But those pancakes sound really good, huh? Those Yay. tomatoes probably sound <laughs> really de delicious. <laughs> those tacos yeah. really mm, good. Just Some think about pancakes. it, Alex. Just That's think about how no. good that would be if you're sitting in your stomach We right should now. go to Waffle House. Let's take a field trip. <laughs> <laughs> a field I trip. I don't think I can justify a field trip to Waffle House. Or nutrition. We should go to Denny's. Denny's yeah. is across the My street. Is asleep. In case somebody, and so in case somebody like chokes, we can like help them. Uh, so no. you, you just pretend to choke and be at Denny's. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> They said Denny's really good. I never ate at Denny's. Me either. Really? It's because I always see old people there, so I just play. No, but it's really good. I never. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. 
Have you tasted Can these we? Disney nachos? Oh my gosh, those are amazing. I never ate at Disney, so. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go. You need to go. No. I'd like a buffet better. But I want right, to go so to Waffle House. There's nobody else commenting, Alex or Ooh, Lorena. Or Frank's. Just, just my wife, none of the other four viewers. Nope. So that's all right. We got some more viewers. So, all right. Can you like here? look who what? it is? Huh? Oh, nothing. What? Nothing. I'm geeking <laughs> about something. I, I think it does show somewhere, but I don't know. What? Have you ever ate at um Frank's? Yep. Oh my gosh, Frank's Grill. Frank's Grill. Yes. Yeah, I have never ate the there. Is it their good? pancakes are like this big. All right, oh I'm gonna go gosh. there today. Oh, y'all are making me hungry. <laughs> and they they're right. only open for like lunch. I don't think they're open for dinner at all, right? Oh, no, they have like it. breakfast and lunch, I think. But they give you so much Ooh, food. Like, them. A lot of food. Like when you full, it don't even look like you ate anything because it's still a lot of food. Oh my gosh, who have who's been to Chili's? What? Who hasn't? Oh Me? my gosh. I've been. You never Are been you to serious? Chili's? <gasps> I've been oh to gosh. Chili's and I love their steak. I know. Ooh. And potatoes. There's and their, fries. There's this dessert. It's a, I think it's a chocolate oh, volcano. And it's cake. It's the cake and. Do you hear how we can't hear you? Uh, there you it go. has like. Um, chocolate hot and fudge coming and out ice of it. cream. Yeah. <gasps> Have you had the cookie? Oh my gosh. Chocolate chip cookie yeah. with ice cream on top. Oh. Oh, oh who's somewhere. heard of uh, Don Picos? Y'all have never heard of that? Oh my gosh. If y'all go there, y'all need to try the fried ice cream. It is so good. Fried, fried ice cream? Yes. I've it never has, tried it has, that. It has, ice, it has vanilla ice cream. It has like a, a shell. And like, right you know how, how the um, those little sticks that have like the, the sugar on them? You can buy them at Mi Tienda for like a dollar. The the chur uh yeah churros and it is the shells like that and and then it has the ice cream and it has like frosted flakes in it. It's Crying right now because I'm so hungry. <laughs> Dang, my stomach is so we'll be, up we'll be right now. We'll be signing off here in a minute, and then we'll be <gasps> into the lunch or in a few minutes. Uh, so. Lunch yeah. is nothing compared to what we're talking about. All right, so right? Again, I know that's, that's like, like hospital food. food. <laughs> 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 we've got to, we've got to learn to. I'm not saying. Don't eat those things because I still, you know, we went to Marble Slab. Like I said, I got oh, pumpkin marble pie slab. in the refrigerator. Ooh. But we got to learn to. Oh, the other day. One, we got to learn to eat breakfast because that's a good start. And otherwise, your body's still just starving from dinner. Yeah. They say that's, a, that's the important, I didn't even eat important dinner last time. Uh, part of yeah. It, yeah. to start yeah. off your day. Yeah. So it gives you, just like I always say, if you don't put gas in the car, you're, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. All right. But so I'm if you don't you. put fuel in the body in the morning. You're not going to be able to run like normal. So you got to put the fuel in there. What? And so even even if it's donuts and milk or donuts and moon pie, it's it's something better than nothing. And then now we just got to work on adding a little bit. Like milk, chocolate milk, so strawberry milk, if you like that, is a great little thing to have because it has the protein, has the, the carbohydrates, the fat, and all that stuff that you need to at least give you something. <laughs> so donuts and milk is not is not bad at all. Granola bar and milk is even probably be even better. Or oh yogurt and granola. Oh, I love granola. So think granola about your breakfast. Think about your breakfast. <laughs> she gave you a drop. A drop of granola today. Coach Jackson, <clears throat> is a homecoming for every grade or yes. just 12th grade? Yeah. 12th grade. Oh, my <laughs> God. No? No, that's yeah, it's for everybody. Everybody. Wait, it, we can only invite people from that's the prom. school, right? I think so. Oh, yeah. right? Yes. I thought they said if you bring somebody from another school, they have to have an ID, though. Like, their school ID with them, though. I'm not a prom expert, so I know... Yeah. It's not a prom. It's homecoming. Yeah, it's homecoming. Let's see. Oh, I, think I don't know. Maybe they have to have birthday. their school ID and they have to be under a certain age. Because I didn't like come that. here last year, but I came to homecoming. Oh, wow. Well. I just walked in like a G. <laughs> All right, so I mean, went to tag we're going to go ahead and <laughs> practice wrapping it up. Alex, you ready? Yes. So this is it's your shot to practice, cause, so next week you'll have this ready to go. What do I have to sing? <laughs> Did you close your show notes? Uh, y'all? Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, I got, I got, I got. I got. Oh. Nope, not that one. There oh. you go. So scroll down to the bottom. 
The red. Oh. There you go. Of course, we have to mention the people who help support us. The Greater Houston Athletic Don't say the Trainers. Last one. The Greater Houston Athletic Trainers Society for sponsoring the EU opportunities, and last but not least, Pasadena ISD Education Foundation. Good. All right, and then so scroll down. You have a little bit more to go. Uh oh, where is it? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what happened to my paper. All right, so if you want to contact us, I think we said it like a dozen times at the beginning. So if you want yeah. to check it out, uh, sportsmedicinebroadcast.com. So that'll have our posted episodes. So the one from last week is up there. <coughs> and then this one, I'll, I'll go ahead and put up there because there's some pretty good stuff and if nothing <laughs> else, we had fun. And then the live stream is also on there. So you go to the where it says live stream, click on there. You can watch it live through Ustream or through YouTube. All that stuff is on there. You can join in the conversation like my beautiful wife was doing, commenting. Oh. So the more people we have commenting, beautiful. the more content we have, the more questions we have, uh, and the more you feel like you're part of the show. So almost every Wednesday, almost every Wednesday, we broadcast live. And you can quick look at the schedule of who we're talking to when on sportsmedicinebroadcast.com. So that's on either it says schedule of guests or calendar or something like that. Um, so check that out. And also, you can follow us on Twitter at PHS Sports Med, Google Plus Sports Medicine Broadcast, or Facebook.com slash PHS Athletic Training. So for Jeremy, Michelle, Marlon, Laura, Lorena, <laughs> Alexis, Alejandra, Marissa, <laughs> Jackie, Asia, George, Bree, and Edith are. In the back there, and Salim is over here, and we got a couple students at it. Uh, absent. That's a wrap. Pew, pew, pew. So then you stop the recordings. Uh.